These women do not understand personal space and they're always looking for external validation. It looks like squealing. Oh my God! Over the top, crunched reaction to normal stuff. That's not humility. That's uh, for the camera to cause unrest in an audience. When a woman like this is caught in bad behavior, they'll do this. If you'd like me to demonstrate, I can. And I don't want them to try to, it's getting you, it's like acting in a movie to get you to feel their pain of sadness. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just so painful. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. Are they looking? Is it affecting them? Are they are they falling for it? That's what Mona Van does when she needs some attention to get her way so that she doesn't feel insecure about the evil that she's done. Women will put their nasty negative emotion on you and then make you feel like you're the problem. Like what Khloe Kardashian does in a session with Tristan. See, they think that they're hashing out concerns and problems. However, what it clearly is, is narcissistic personality disorder education. That's not a real relationship. However, Chloe and all those Kardashian hoes, they don't understand real relationships because their only relationship is in their master baiting, which we see a lot with Kylie as she uses Stormy and Air to soothe out the ruffled feathers of the audience. Do you understand how that's malicious, vile, anti-American, and illegal? So we talked about them grooming North. We started out as discussing North and how they groomed North. And then everybody brushed it under the rug. And then they consistently had more kids. And then they were always on this show. And then it all kind of drowned out. The fact that North is a child. And so they play you on their pain, what they call pain, but they don't experience pain. They only participate in acting. So the tears are fake. The wild animal behavior of being right, however, is real. I hope that your daughter runs away and has a wonderful life. Now, what, what would that be an example of? As Parker tries to step in and protect his girlfriend. It's not appropriate for you to behave like a prostitute with your legs spread wide. No one knows what your name is. And then for you to go on and act as if you are a political educator. That doesn't work. And that's what they're all doing. You cannot just act and behave however you want and then call that your civil rights and your constitutional right. That's why we have law and order. And that's the only reason that you don't like Donald Trump is because there's expectations and high bars set. Understand high integrity levels for those in high official positions. And when you're with Kamala Harris, the bar is set very low. You don't really have to do a whole lot, according to the girl with dreads from L.A., by the way. Then you want to tell us what it was like on set when you were on the set of the debate. So all of you, as the college students, were act supposed actors. And then Charlie Kirk is actual a defender of the Constitution, and if you were an actual person who is an advocate for the cause of which you're at cause for, you would have a 
logical explanation for your behaviors and you wouldn't re react or retaliate with violence because that's actually what the Constitution represents. Not your version of the Constitution. So I don't know who is telling you in your thick skulls that you're attractive and you're seductive and lustful and greedy. No, it's all implied energy. You're not actually any of those things. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment to society. And Chu Chu is getting his masturbation on by looking at you. But he's not American. And so what we've been doing is trying to get you to produce content just by allowing, allowing Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party to support influencers to see how far they would take this. Twice now, the Democratic Party has tried to assassinate Donald Trump. Both times you failed. Very much, very similar to the way Donald Trump and myself communicate. Um, that's how Kamala Harris communicates with her followers. Although they don't know they're communicating with Kamala Harris. They think they're listening to a higher power. Although you wouldn't understand what a higher power is, Kamala Harris, because you're not the higher power. You just use the CIA operative moves of subliminal messages to berate and destroy American people while you use provocative behavior of seductresses because you're afraid of them. You're afraid of them. So if she's afraid of... Kim Kardashian, Kamala Harris is afraid of Kim Kardashian. How is she going to behave when Putin shows up? How is she going to behave when Putin arrives and he's got a weapon in his arm? What is she going to do? Is she going to just say, be kind? So you're trying to yell out, you're not acting as kindness though. So the news, the fake news media and you and the Democratic Party, it's clear AOC is not a kind person. It's clear that Walls and Kamala are not good people. They're bad, bad people. Take a look at Doug Emhoff's daughter. It's very clear that you're operating very corruptive, very illogical free ride behavior of an eighth place trophy. Where you promote seduction over logics so that you can fuel an audience into what they call joy and happiness. But that's standing at the top of the building waiting for the aliens to come to blast you out and murder you. And that's what Kamala Harris is representing on the fake news media of telling you to relax because the Haitians are here and that we need to integrate these criminals into our lives. I don't fucking think so. Understand what we're dealing with here with the fake news media, with the influencer platform of absolutely no ethics, no morals, and no education, where they fuel off of what they call pretty privilege, but I still don't know where you are getting the idea that you're pretty. Where is that coming from? Not sure how you think you're winning on Emmys. Your shows are terrible. Even Meryl Streep knows that that show she's on is terrible. She's been in acting for God knows how long, and she's been in movies like Bridges of Madison County, who had scripts that had substance, and now look at what's going on. So Selena Gomez doesn't understand that because she's never been educated in acting her entire life. She literally just sat there and did a seductive song, and wooed people into submission while she worked off of a relationship with Justin Bieber. That was her tactic of strategy. While Selena tells Meryl Streep that she's an old hag, however, Meryl Streep has the talent. Selena Gomez lies out her ass that she's a billionaire when it's clear she's not a billionaire. I mean, it's very common sense. Elon Musk can even describe what it took to become a billionaire. And this woman sitting on her ass erotically uh, floozing over her boyfriend on video and camera, that will never make you a billionaire. I even question whether Taylor Swift is a billionaire. 
It takes a lot of work to become a billionaire, not just photography and wooing the audience with this weird-ass dance.